What's cracking, guys? Bruce Matz and your host show. LSU just got dropped by UCLA, but the big thing we want to take note is Keishon Boutte or Booty, however you want to pronounce it. He just went off catching nine balls for 148 yards, three touchdowns, just doing what he always does since his freshman year last season, just blowing up. And guess what? We're going to hit the tape on that. All right, guys, so here's his first touchdown of the day. I've got a zoomed-in view here, kind of from the replay. This is what I was able to snag off the internet. But we have Butte here um, lining up pretty much head up with the DB. Snap takes place. You can see him working off the line of scrimmage here. And, and he's just being assertive. That's what I like about some of these top-end wide receivers. Butte is the best, if not one of the best wide receivers in college football. But to be the best, one thing, one trait you got to have is assertiveness. It's my ball mentality. This, I'm going to get to my spot no matter what mentality. And here, he's working. And you notice he's taking this off as an angle, right? So he really wants to sell inside a little bit. And then he's making a sharp cut. He's got a lot of real estate up here at the top. He wants to make a sharp cut here. He's going to beat this guy with just athleticism burst. Now, he's not much trying to sell here. His eyes are selling. If you watch his head and his face mask, he's looking straight at the dude like he's possibly going to break in. But not much of a head fake. A little bit of his shoulder dip, but not much really. It's more like a natural movement. But plant step, drive. Plant step, drive. And was really just working his own. And finding the space, bringing the catch, strong hands. Look at that, catching outside of his body. Brings it in, easy play. Really, they should have schemed him up better. Boutte's going to beat you every time you make it easy for him. Like, plant step drive here. Space for days. Quarterback probably knew he had him beat. Probably right around here. And easy pitch and catch. Easy touchdown there for Boutte. Alright guys, here's the second... Touchdown pass for Boutte in third quarter, 21-10. UCLA's up. And this is the one that you're going to see on social media a lot where the referee gets picked, allows them to break free. But still, Boutte's doing Boutte things. Coming off the line of scrimmage, he's here at the bottom of your screen. So coming off the line of scrimmage here. And you're just seeing him work to a spot quickly. Running like a little drag route. Lose him in the screen. Here's where you see the ref get picked. A little blurry there because of the frame rate. He gets picked and he's off to the races. Let's look at the separation off the pick here. Kind of close. Monday morning quarterback. We can say that this play might not have been able to happen if that ref wasn't there to pick him. But same thing could have still happened. He still could have ran free for the touchdown we don't really know and i'm not gonna sit here and say that man if that ref wasn't there he's not gonna get it because we don't know i don't know you don't know Boutte doesn't know but what happened actually happened and that's what we got to go off of here ref picked him Boutte got space now and the thing you can watch is like he's pulling away these guys aren't really catching up to him matter of fact they're kind of slacking they kind of gave up pulling up they're just letting him go by not running through the play, but Boutte's got it. And what this shows here is once he gets the ball in his hands, once he's got all this real estate and daylight in front of him, he's good to go. He's good to go to get that score, and that's what he's going to do right here, and we see him do this oft. All right, third touchdown grab for Boutte. This one's in the fourth quarter. LSU's up 38-20 to 20 late in the fourth, so LSU needs to pull some strings here to keep him in it. Get him back up in the game, but Boutte is coming off the line here. He's at the bottom of your screen, and he runs like a little curl route, like a deep curl or a comeback, whatever you want to call it. Plant it up here to make the catch. Catches it with his hands. Notice his hands are out, ready to make the catch. Notice his other foot. It's ready to plant up field. I just now saw that, so that should allow him to pivot. It does. Slide adjustment for a quick pivot because this guy's assertive when it comes to getting up the field with the ball in his hands. 
So those little micro movements with his footwork, him being able to move instantly like that once he gets the ball in his hands are intuitive and natural to him. Not many guys can do that. So you notice his feet are just moving in the right direction. And now he's going to engage with this DB here. Stiff arm, hand the helmet. He bites the dust. Bam. Got a guy behind him trying to make a play. But he face plants. Look at him. No chance. And Boutier has gone. Like I said on the other highlight, when he sees daylight like this, it's game over flip. Kayshawn Boutte, touchdown. If you're going to give him daylight, it's over. He's got the burst. He's got the speed. He, he's a playmaker. This is what he does. This is what playmakers do. You give him green. You give him grass for days in front of him. You're not going to chase him down. He's gone. What I like here, catching the ball away from his body. Feet ready to go upfield. Holds on to the ball. Good concentration. Aggressive. Aggressive. Stiff arm. Boom. Another stiff arm. Another stiff arm. He didn't need to really throw that stiff arm. He could just get upfield, but he did it. Boom. The stiff arm's not really did it. It's more like his burst and separation, but it's a nice little touch. Like, bam. Insult the injury. And then gone. Because you're not going to catch up to him when he has space. And Keishon Boutet is the best playmaker in college football. The best wide receiver out there. My top Devi wide receiver in Dynasty Devi fantasy football. He's not moving. He's going to have to do something tremendously bad for him to move from there. He's the playmaker, top in the game right now. I suggest you start watching him, keep an eye on him on Saturdays if you're not up on him yet. Because Keishon Pude is a playmaker. But I want to thank you for watching the show. Sticking with me. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. Every subscription matters. It fuels me to keep dropping these videos. These film reviews. Helping you with fantasy teams. And all that stuff. I want to thank you again. And I'll catch you next time.